how did you come to know about the functioning of the stars of the sun and he says and goes back that the creator so it's the vice versa so if you know how to deal with logic you don't trip over this problem with the atheist trap the muslims or the believers by saying who created allah Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungu. And we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody for subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP. So right about now we're gonna do uh we're gonna do a reaction and this one was suggested again by a lot of people and they decided like uh, we should go and react to if God is uncreated then how can we feel his existence existence by Dr. Zaki Naik so without any further ado it looks like Dr. Zaki Naik is somehow famous or something I don't know yeah so yeah without any further ado guys let's get it um yeah hi my name is Ahmed I come from the glorious country of Iraq and uh, I'm a born Muslim my problem is that um, I practice Islam when I was brother. First, we request questions from the non Muslims. Once yeah. all the questions from non Muslims are over, inshallah, we'll give you a chance. Yeah, but I'm talking about problem only. It's, it's, okay. but, but you said you're Ahmed and you're a born Muslim. I am born Muslim. But now, are you a Muslim or not? I'm agnostic. Oh, so now you have left the religion of Islam? Yeah, I'm confused. Okay, fine. If you have left the religion of Islam, you can ask the question, brother. Okay. So my question is, how come I don't have the faith that you and the other Muslims have and some of my friends, even though I practiced Islam a lot and I even did Amrah, but I still do most of the sins that uh, are forbidden in Islam and I sometimes am lazy to do the prayer and the other um, subjects we have to do in Islam. I have read many books and about other religions and conspiracy theories and documentaries and such. I even have seen your own videos in YouTube and there are many questions that go around my head about um, Allah and the Messenger and Muslims in general. And basically the, the most important question is, um, you said in one of your debates or questions that Allah is the creator and he's uncreated. But I have realized how can the uncreated exist and if he exists, um, how can we notice him? How can we see him or hear him or feel him or know of his existence if he's uncreated in our own dimension or so? That's one of the questions. Brother Ahmed said that he is a born Muslim. He comes from Iraq. He read the Quran, he read the books, but he commits many sins. He believes maybe sometimes he's agnostic and he's lazy for praying. Brother, before I answer your main question, if you do sins and if you're lazy for praying, that does not make you a non-Muslim. As long as you believe that praying is fard, sometimes you miss, it's a sin. It's a major sin that you sometimes don't pray, but that doesn't make you a non-Muslim. If you say praying is not required, then you're doing kufr. But if sometimes you do sin, sometimes minor sin, sometimes major sin, it is haram, it's forbidden, but that does not throw you outside the fold of Islam. There are sometimes vassas of the shaitan asking you, oh, you're a Muslim, but this is wrong in Islam, this is wrong, and it does deviate the person's mind. At that time, maybe your iman may be low, but these things should not make you consider that you're non-Muslim. Regarding a question, that I mentioned in my speech, and you're right, that Almighty God is the creator, but He Himself is uncreated. You ask the question, how can the uncreated, how can we see the uncreated, and how it's possible? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Khaliq, is the creator. And by definition, He's uncreated. Because normally people say that when they try and prove in logic, that everything has a creator who created this table the carpenter from where he got from the tree who created the tree so it goes back to Allah so when many of the people try to convince an atheist they try and say that everything has a creator and then they get trapped when the atheist asked him who created Allah so if you hear my tapes I never go that way 
I ask the atheist that how did you come to know about the universe? How did you come to know about the functioning of the stars, of the sun? And he says and goes back that the creator. So it's the vice versa. So if you know how to deal with logic, you don't trip over this problem with the atheist trap, the Muslims or the believers, by saying who created Allah. By definition, Allah is uncreated. And if you ask the question, who created Allah? If you have heard my tapes, I give the reply. That suppose a person comes and says that my brother John. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I heard that's funny. But I mean, how does he exist if he's uncreated? Not um, That is Allah. Uncreated. Yeah. How that's the exist? difference between you and Allah. How does he exist? Means he was existing. From, he doesn't have a beginning. You and I have a beginning. That's human being. So that is the difference between us and Allah. You can't say that Allah has to be like us. If Allah is like you and me, why should we worship Him? I see, but um, have you heard of the phenomenon, the Big Brother, used by various orders and political agendas to control the people and such by implementing it into multiple gods and then later on it became a monotheistic religion all over the world to make it easier Big for the Brother, people sorry, to... I've never heard of the religion Big Brother. It's not a religion, it's um, like an, a theory, an idea, basically. For what does it say? Yes. What does this idea say? What does it say? Is that when you have a big brother, it's easier for you to live life. When you have someone watching you the whole time, understanding you the whole time, protecting you the whole time, being with you the whole time, and you can talk to him, although he never talks to you back, maybe in your dreams, do it to your mind and such, it's easier for you to live. While a human who does not have a big brother and is not easily controlled into doing so and is having complete freedom is a danger for the major ruling powers and such. What does it say? I don't understand. Big brother may be there, big brother may not be there. What does it, what does it have to do with Islam and God? What does it have to do? Because basically Allah is watching the whole time. He so you want to say that Allah is like a big brother? Indeed, you use him for your protection so you won't be scared. You know what I mean? See, this is the hypothesis. Hypothesis. If you have heard, how do I convince an atheist, if you have heard my answer that you said that you're agnostic, you're atheist. Yeah. So first thing I do to an atheist is I congratulate him. What? I congratulate him. Have you heard my answer of atheist? Yeah, you congratulate him and stuff. But I haven't seen your debates with the atheist. I just saw your answers on some questions. Fine, so you haven't seen the answer of atheist? No, but I've seen your debate with David William Campbell. And that's William Campbell is not an atheist. Yeah, yeah. Now, when an atheist tells me he does not believe in God like your theory of Big Brother, yeah. and if you believe in that theory, I will ask you, first thing I do to the atheist, I congratulate him. You know why? Yeah, because they think and they don't follow what their parent does and such stuff like that. No, no. I congratulate him because he is not doing blind belief. The other people are doing blind belief. He is a Christian because father is a Christian. He is a Hindu because father yeah, exactly. is a Hindu. Most of the Muslims are Muslim because father is a Muslim. He is thinking. He says there is no God. He has said the first part of the Islamic Shahada La Ilaha. The reason I congratulate him is because he has said the first part of the Islamic Shahada, Islamic creed, La Ilaha. The only thing I have to do is Illa Allah, which I shall do, Inshallah. Mm. So if you have heard my answer, an atheist becomes an atheist because he believes in science, he believes in logic. So I ask him that if an equipment is bought in front of him, which no one in the world has ever seen, and if the question is asked, that who will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of this new equipment? What is the answer? Of course, he's going to tell you the producer or the maker of this equipment. Creator, producer, maker. So when we ask him questions that how did this universe come into existence? He will talk about the Big Bang. This what we're going to talk is already mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 30. Avalam yaral lazina kafaru, anna samavati wal arda, kaan taratkum ftaknauma. Do not the unbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were joined together and we close them asunder. This what you came to know 50 years back is mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago. Who could have mentioned that? 
Well, in various civilizations, in like 2000 or 5000 BC, before Islam came or Christianity itself, there was various civilizations that are good in astronomy and they know more about our solar system than we do now, sadly. Brother, and brother, of, brother, your knowledge of science is little, not in depth. I do agree. There are certain things which were known as hypothesis. For example, for example, we came to know we were proved that the earth was spherical in 1577. I know that in 6th century BC, there was Pythagoras who believed that the earth was spherical. But the same Pythagoras who believed the earth was spherical also believed that the earth was the center of the universe, which is wrong. You show me one civilization which believes 100% what the Quran has mentioned. I challenge you. What you say, so do you mean to say there was a person who said, okay, this civilization, out of 100 things, these two things are right. Out of 100 things, these five things are right. Out of this 100, and pick 10 choose. Who can do that? No one besides the creator. Even if you know that there were 10 different civilizations, hundreds of civilizations, there is not a single civilization that you know in the past which knew 100% of science what we know today. So where is your logic? Where is your theory? I do know that certain things were hypothesis, which were proved later on. But there is not a single civilization which knows everything what is mentioned in the Quran. So the answer goes back to the original question, who could have collected this in the Quran? Someone 1400 years back, could he do and say, okay, out of these 100 things, these three are right. Out of these 100 things, these two are right. Out of this, it's not possible. Mathematically, it's not possible. Well, you never gave the idea of extraterrestrials or so. I mean, knowledge is power and... Brother, I'm asking you a simple question. We are not coming here to have a debate. Yeah. I'm asking you a question, point out a single civilization, you're asking something else. Yeah, we are right. not here to discuss, you can come in the room and discuss. You ask a question, I'm giving you the answer. You gave about old civilization. I told you you're right, but out of 100 things, 98, they were wrong. So. I am asking you, who could have mentioned this in the Quran? You are talking something else now. Yeah, well, I am asking a simple question, 2 plus 2 equals how much? You are saying, I am telling you 3 multiplied by 3 is how much? I am asking a name, you are telling that, where do you live? Yeah, I am asking a simple question, name me a single civilization which has everything what was mentioned in the Quran. Do you know of any or not? Yes or no? Well, not everything, of course. Even not 10%? Why? Babylon knows of some, most of the planets and such. Planet is not the only thing mentioned in the Quran. There of are course. thousand things mentioned in the Quran. To say what thousand things are mentioned in the Quran, 10% would be equal to 100 things. Did Babylonian civilization knew about 100 things mentioned in the Quran? No, because they you does, cannot. Have the they knew of five or six things. In percentage wise, very small. So of course. Who can be the author of the Quran besides the creator to know what is right, what is wrong? Today, science has established the hypothesis mentioned by Babylonian so many centuries back is today proven. So these were hypotheses in the past, which out of them many have been rejected, some have been accepted. So to collect all which is 100% correct has to be from the creator and no one else. Hope that answers the question. Yeah. What do you think? Mm. I mean, God is uncreated, then how can we feel his existence? I mean, the guy has the, the guy asked the question, has all the rights to, to get the answer. But what I'll say is that no one has the answers though. That's why he brought up the point of name one civilization yeah. that has the entire knowledge. Yeah, so no, no one has the answers. I mean, we in this world just to, just, I don't know, just to to put our belief into into uh, into what we were given, and you know, make it make it um, it will become a reality. Go to heaven and maybe reincarnate back here. I don't know. So. I like the point he made. I don't know if you heard it. Uh, the point where he said he respects ethics. Yes, yes. Because a lot of people in these a lot of like us, he, 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 he yeah, congratulates I say a lot of people, I should say, a lot of us are maybe Christians because our parents are Christians. Mm -hmm. But this and that because of what we've been taught to be, not because of what we want to be. 
Yeah, it's because of um, like you, you were just born and you were born into Islam or Christianity. Like Without it's not your choice. choice. You get it? It's not your yeah. choice. I mean, if it could be a point whereby you they let you grow and find out what religion probably is, you feel like it suits me or this suits my beliefs or whatnot, then go for it. You get it? Because I mean, that's I mean. Well, why people people yeah. tend to be atheists because they feel like probably because they don't want to follow blindly yeah they don't want to follow for blindly standards. for yeah for starters because there's so so many things in there that you feel like ah it does not add up but anyway that uh, probably that's how they end up becoming atheists and stuff like that do you think I mean, science, their choice. do you think science has some truth to it there's some truth in science because okay if if you tell me like the Bible is it's scientific, it's an astrological book, I mean, sorry, astrological book, so there's so much, I mean science, you can't escape science, science is always, I mean science has some truth in it, we can't deny that, because, but there's some other things that, uh, the Big Bang Theory, I don't think so, so kind of things, they don't, I mean, it doesn't really add up that much. But there is some truth in science. So, do you think uh, Dr. What's his name? Tonic? Yeah. Do you think he answered the question? This guy's uh, question? The guy was not content with the answer. The guy really wanted to. Yeah, that's to, why he kept yeah, on going. Uh, yeah, that's why he kept on. The, the guy is still, is still like. He, he, like He's, he's still confused. Like, if God isn't created, then how can we feel his existence? I mean, he he really. How would you. How do you feel about these questions? I mean, the question is really good. Like, I mean, the question is any. You any, believe in something, so how do you feel its presence? Whatever you believe in. How do I feel what? Say you believe in God. Mm -hmm. How do you feel God's presence? How I feel God's presence? I have my own belief, like. Because you know, some people do pray and they say, I felt. Something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Uh, what I came to understand is that whatever you believe in, it will always come to you. Whether you believe in uh, what not, or what, whatever thing you believe in, it will always come to fruition. The moment you put your thoughts, your mind, in it, it will always come to you. Um, but true. the most important thing is faith. You understand? If you put faith on on one particular thing, it's gonna. Or, or, or sorry, one particular thought, maybe. I want, I'm, I'm putting faith in probably having money probably a few days from now. You're going to have it. It's all about manifestation. So it's the same thing as these people who are in the religion. If you put faith in your religion and everything, then still things are going to happen. And then you'll actually be like, God did, God, God, God is marvelous and stuff like that. You understand? But it's just because it doesn't mean that that person who doesn't believe in God won't get the same faith as you. You still get the same faith. I mean, no, sorry, the same thing as you. You need to get the same thing as you. It's only, it's, it's just, uh, it's just faith. You get it? Your faith and uh, uh, putting your thoughts into something that you feel like you really need or something. But again, when you go into the religion, it's more of, you know, uh, being spiritual and being all this type of, like, yeah, like more being spiritual and living righteous for you to go to heaven and uh, heaven not hell you, you get it because i can have faith to be rich but it doesn't mean that i want to have faith to go to to heaven but again it's possible i think it's possible yeah because you, you may not be an islam or a christian but you have faith that you're going to go to heaven and all of a sudden you go to heaven and i think it's possible but again you have to do the right things you can't just put faith and then you go out and start doing uh um, but things and respect that because you know karma normally comes back to you do the good things and then um good good things will come to you back and probably find yourself in a better place to conclude i'd also like to talk about the point he made saying god is uncreated did you say god or allah whichever one he used yeah. it's the same thing yeah mm -hmm. is uncreated because if god was like us then don't know don't probably be no point of worshiping someone that's like isn't that like an idol yeah of course 
man, it's, it's, it's too deep, man. That's like why you can't, can't press something that's on your level. You can't yeah. wash it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I don't know. I mean, it's so. It just gets you to think. Yeah, because you can't see. You can't see, like you, you can't, can't see. see but you believe. You can't see but you live. Like you, you you wake up in the morning and pray to God that you can't see. And you're like, I know. I don't see but I believe. Yeah, but I believe. But for me I feel like I don't want to, I don't want to go into the act of believing. I want to go into the act of knowing. You understand? I mean if, But you already touched on the point of believing. Faith. Yeah. Faith, yeah. Faith is, is, is yeah, you put faith believing. Is believing. It. But for me I feel like if I know like the other day when I told you, I believe, okay, if if I told you that I have $100,000, you'll believe me, yeah? Will you believe me? Should I believe you? I'm asking you. Should I? You'll have, okay, you'll be like, ah, oh, okay, so you have $100,000, but you kind of... You always have to leave room for doubt, though. Yeah, you see? But now, if I t if you know, you've seen the money and you see it, and you really know that you this guy has, yeah, like that straight away believe. Like you've seen it with your own eyes. So, oh my God, let me just worship this guy over here, man. This is the real deal. You get it? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying. But anyway, guys, I mean, we are here in this earth to learn. Everybody has their own path, and uh, I mean, it's so amazing to to learn to understand. And this guy had all the all the what all the um all the obligation to ask this question of course it is yeah. he's confused like he said he's confused, he's confused. he admitted that which for me is good. for me i feel like admit you're still searching nobody has the answers like just the way nike was saying because you see we are here in this world probably we're gonna die after maybe uh, let's say 100 years people are gonna like this generation is gonna go out another generation comes in so now it's gonna be like the next generation, they're gonna come out and see maybe writings on the wall, graffitis, and then they'll be like, ah, so. So this is how they live. Yeah, so this is how they live, do you understand? You get it? Just like past civilization, they used to show like some alien type of shit and uh, things and, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, and we were like, oh, so this is how they used to live. Nobody has all the answers. Mm -hmm. You get it? I mean, it's, it's so. The, the world is somehow orchestrated so in a way that information starts from a certain age. Yeah. The rest is the rest. You just get whatever you get. I mean, it's so orchestrated, man. Excellent that you will never. I mean, you can't find who's the creator. I mean, okay, you can find through belief, but you cannot actually see. But for me, I'm thinking there are people out there who actually know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there are two, three people or a group of people who know who we are straight fast that's what i know maybe they're hiding the truth hiding us from god like the, the, the true creator they're hiding us probably they give they are telling us the invincible god so that you you actually get, you know don't actually see the the real god probably the real god is just somewhere you know maybe it's not even in human form it's just uh, um what do you call this polaris or something like that just just a force, you get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like uh, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. you I get think it? Going anyway, guys, if you feel we reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us what do you think about our reaction. What do you think about uh, this video here of uh, Doctor Zakir Naik? Let us know. Let, let me let me let me hear. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. Do you wanna you want them to hear your thoughts? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, let us. I want to hear your thoughts about if God is uncreated, then how can we feel His existence? We're here to learn, guys. And if I, if we offended anybody out there, we're here to learn. We're learning. We're yeah. supposed to exchange we are, information. Yeah, we're supposed to exchange information. Even this guy was learning. He's confused and stuff like that. So yeah, and the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video and peace out.